universe discovery, the cosmos is very much finite and the universe has an end, according to a new study, Sean Martin Express UK reports. This new research says the universe is very much finite. In other words, there is an end to it and we'll have a definitive end and what could be a major science breakthrough. Some scientists theorize the universe could extend infinitely and may be here for the rest of eternity, but new research analyze, analyzing the cosmic microwave background, CMB, and the cosmological principle throws doubt on this idea that it's never ending. Firstly, the CMB, the cosmic microwave background, is a map of the leftover radiation of the Big Bang. When the universe burst into life, from what they estimate about 14 billion years ago. Second, the cosmological principle is a theory that allows the universe to change or evolve through time and there should be special advantages or everything throughout the cosmos. However, for everything throughout the cosmos, but new research of the cosmological principle says it could be slightly wide of the mark. It claims there is only so much change and evolution allowed within the universe. So, in simple words, this means that the universe will have a definitive end and the cosmos will cease to exist one day. This is the astronomer Altia Mazzario of the Astronomical Institute, Charles University. He's the author of the study. He reached this conclusion by analyzing gamma ray bursts throughout the universe. Mazzario said, using the cosmological principle and additional observational data such as redshifts, it follows that there is a beginning, that's the Big Bang, and hence the age of the universe must be finite. In other words, he said, because there's a beginning, there has to be an end. Previously, cosmological objects, those that are galaxies or quasars, were used as probes for the cosmological principle. And he says, however, recent studies incorporating gamma ray bursts have yielded some interesting new results. The cosmological principle requires an averaging, statistical analysis of the spatial distribution of gamma ray bursts, suggests structures on the gigaparsec scale, which is in contradiction with this statement. Gamma ray bursts should be distributed isotropically across the sky, just as any other cosmological object. For these tests, gamma ray bursts are especially useful because they are seen in the gamma band and in the galactic plane as well, and thus there is no observational bias. Past research found that the expansion of the universe will ultimately lead to its demise. Thanks to the presence of dark energy, the universe will continue to expand until matter and energy are evenly spread out, causing the temperature to cool to absolute zero. What happens then is still a bit of a mystery, but scientists tend to opt for the big rip theory. As previously stated, the cosmos has been constantly expanding since the dawn of time, since the Big Bang, and there is absolutely nothing left. And as dark energy overtakes the effects of gravity, the universe to expand at a quicker and quicker rate until its pace reaches the speed of light. Entropy, which essentially dictates the order of molecules making up the universe, stops as there's nothing left to play with. But if this is the case, that the end is nearer, it still will not happen for trillions of years. Now, I, my conclusion is, my comment here is, this is all theory. He talks here about dark matter, which they have not found. So this is all theory. What do you think about this? If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. 
Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.